Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We've got a fun one for you today. In our last video, we showed you some sticky cascading menus. Today, we've got an expanding one. I've got a little options button right here. When I click on it, it's going to expand to reveal a menu. When I click on it again, it's going to go back to how it was. And that's a nice little eye-catching feature to have on your site. Really easy to do. We've got to do a bit of coding for this today, but I've written all the code for you. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll tell you where you can get it from. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Okay, and the first thing we're going to want to do is create the menu that we're actually going to use this for. Because the first thing on the menu does not want to be a clickable item. So let's go down to the dashboard. Went to the dashboard, we'll go down to Appearance, Menus. Going to go up here to create a new menu. Left click. We'll give our new menu a name. And hit the Create Menu button. Okay, now we can start adding what we need to add. The first thing I'm going to add, let's close up the pages here, is a custom link. Now you have to put something in the URL initially. I'm going to put a hashtag in there. Put whatever it is you want your visitors to see first up here. I'm just going to say options. And add it to the menu. Once it's been added to the menu, we can go in there, hit the little arrow and remove that link. That way when they click on it, it's not going to bounce to the top of the page or take them anywhere. Great, so that's the little guy that they're going to see first. Now we can just add the rest of the menu items as usual. Let's go to our pages here. Yeah, let's add that one, that one, that one. That one, that one, and that one. Hit the Add to Menu button. And there we have it. I'm going to leave mine just like that. Obviously, if you've got any sub-menu items, you can add them. Just pull things to the right for sub-menu items, and you'll see it says sub-menu. I'm going to pop that back where we were. Great. Well, let's save the menu. And it tells us up here, expanding menu has been updated. Fantastic. Well, we can go back to our page now and start building this. I'm going to go down. There's a blue tab, which is a section. Inside, I've got a row, which is the green tab. I'm going to add a brand new row. I'm going to make it a single column. Inside, funnily enough, I'm going to put a menu module. There we are. I'm going to close that. And we'll delete the row that's on top with my original on there. I'm going to quickly save the changes and refresh the page. That way our menu will show up. And once it's refreshed, I can go back in there to our menu module. And our new menu should show up there. Just left click on where it says menu there. And there it is, expanding menu. I'm going to pop that one in there. Okay, well, let's add our code. What I'm going to do is save our menu. I'm going to add another little module. Little dark buttons underneath the green one there. If you have a problem with that, hit your little purple button. Little icon on the left hand side, wireframe view. You can go to back end mode and do it easily this way. And as we're using a code module for this, there's a code module. Code modules don't usually take up a lot of real estate. It's quite often easier to find them on the back end down here. Okay, well, let's grab the code that I've got here. I'm going to grab it from that opening style tag all the way down to the script tag. I'm going to paste it in our little code module here. And I'll just walk you through this. Won't go into too much detail. We've got some style here, some CSS style that we're going to apply to our menu. It's going to give it a fixed width, fixed height, a background color of blue. You can change that to whatever you want to change yours to. In fact, let's change that to a dark gray. Which will be hashtag 24, 24 to win and four. The color of the text is going to be white. 
I'm going to have mine centered aligned. If you don't want your centered aligned, just delete these two lines of code here. And when it expands, it's going to take 0.7 of a second, almost three quarters of a second to actually expand and then go back when you click on it again. And the script down below, we created a function here that when we click on it, it's got to have an ID, CSS ID of my element. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Let's just copy that my element, control C. First time you click it, it's not going to be expanded. When you click on it, it's going to expand and become 100% wide. At the minute, I've got it 80 pixels wide. And you can adjust this to the size of whatever your first custom link text was. So when we click it, it's going to go from 80 pixels wide to 100% wide, which is 100% of the available parent element that it's in, basically the row. When we click it again, it's going to go back to being 80 pixels. Height, I've got set to 30 pixels because that works for the font that I've got. If you need more, obviously make it deeper, but make sure you make both of them deeper. Initially, I've got the background color set to our 2424, which is right there. And when we click on it, it's going to change to blue. And obviously, you can change these colors to whatever you want. Okay, so we've got to give it our little menu, an ID of my element right there. So let's save this. We'll go back into the little menu there. I'm going to go over to advanced. Let's just flip this back to desktop because you should see it happen instantly when I give it that ID. Once it advanced, go to CSS IDs and classes. CSS IDs, make sure you put it in there and not in the class down below. And it was my element. Great. Well, there it is. Put our menus kind of spilling out down here. And I can't read the writing in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go into that menu module and give it some initial styles. Into my menu here. First thing I want to do is hide all this stuff that's falling down here. So over to advanced, visibility. Horizontal and vertical overflow. I'm going to change both of those to hidden. As you can see, disappeared now. And I can't read that text. So I want to go down to design, menu text. I'm going to make the active link and the menu text color both white there. And I want to pop it in the center. I want it to be centered. I'm going to roll down a little bit. Text alignment. Fantastic. Well, there's our little button. Great. Well, if we've done everything correctly now, this should work. And let's just shave a bit of height off of this section here. I'm going to go into the section. I'm going to go to design. Spacing. Padding top and bottom. I'm going to put a zero in there. I've hit the chain. If you wanted to, you could shave a bit off of this one below. That's entirely up to you. Let's see if this is going to work for us. I'm going to save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And here we have it. When I roll over, it's fine. When I click on it, it's going to expand and turn blue. When I click on it again, it's going to go back to how it was. And obviously when you expand it, people go to the menu items and go to the various pages or links wherever it is you want to take them. And that's a great little feature to have on your site. Now, unfortunately, I can't put this code down below the video because of the script tags. But I'll create a page on my blog and put a link below the video where you can download it from there. Simply copy it, paste it, pop it in a code module, give what element you want to use it on the ID of my element. And you'll be good to go. So there you go, guys. There's how to create an expanding menu on button click with the Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.